Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. I know I am. Um, I have a very important... The movie Moana um, today. And it was so... It was so weird how this came about, how it got me thinking of the movie Moana. Um, today, um, Sunday is Mother's Day, and a, a church that I regularly follow online, I, I know that the pastor's wife of that church uh, will probably be preaching this week, and I was thinking of her last sermon title, um, we, I know the way, which, which caused me to think of Moana. So that's what made me think of Moana. So thinking of the movie Moana, if, if you haven't seen it, it's a good movie to see. It's not a Christian movie, but it's a, uh, I think it's a Disney cartoon. Um, I think it's Disney that does it. Um, it's about this young girl who wants to venture away from her home. She's an adventurer, but everybody's telling her to stay put. And everybody's telling her to stay put, but eventually she ventures off and uh, saves her whole village from destruction because she dared to venture off. Now, I'm not saying in this time of uh, COVID to venture off, but what I do hear the Lord saying is it's time to uh, plan and strategize. Instead of dwelling on what, you, what you've lost or wanting to get back to normal, the Lord's saying, and that business plan that you put off and put off and put off, it's time to get it back out and start planning and strategizing uh, with the Lord and with others how your how this business will come to pass. He's he's granted us, you know, he's granted us this time of rest not to just watch Netflix and chill, although we can do that, but he's sometimes, because we all need rest and relaxation, but he's granted us this time of rest to plan and strategize, to get out those old dead dreams that we thought were dead and begin to plan how we are going, how we along with God are going to achieve them. He said that those dreams that you had when you were a little kid, they're not dead, they've just been deferred. And now it's time to, now that you have the time to plan and strategize and make, and make preparation for this next level, because I believe that the Lord wants to take the church into a level of revelation, a level of blessing, a level of joy, a level of peace, which we have never seen, both individually and corporately. And he's given, he's given us this time of rest. Uh, to strategize, to plan, to to uh, make ready ourselves for what he's going to do next. He says, he said, get ready for the explosion. I don't know what that means, but I see glory just exploding around the world. I see people that have had uh, dead dreams who thought uh, who thought they were too old or too young to achieve God's dreams for them. 
I see them getting out of apathy and just embracing what God has called them to do. And I, 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 I strongly believe that this is not just a time where we're stuck in the house or whatever. This is a time to plan and to strategize and to make ready for this level of glory that he's going to uh, uh, bring upon the world, which we've never seen. See, I, I believe that real glory, real blessing uh, takes preparation. He's saying, you want the blessing you want the glory, you want my glory to fill the earth. He's saying this, but do we, he's saying, but are you prepared for the love of God? I believe real glory takes preparation. You, children of God, you need to start strategizing. You need to start writing the vision and making it plain so that you could run with it. Because when you see it, or recorded in my case, you, when it's codified, then you have something to work from. If it just stays in your head, well, A, you might forget it. B, you might just, it is lofty, but when it's codified, it's actionable. Like when you see something, you can take action. If it stays in your head, it just stays in your head and becomes a wish. For your, for your wishes or God's dreams, first of all, you need to make sure it's God's dream and not yours. Sometimes when you have a dream, it's your dream and not God's. Um, so you struggle and struggle and struggle and it doesn't happen. Not because you're not putting the work in, not because you're not doing what you're you're supposed to do to supposedly achieve that dream, but it's not your dream. You're doing something that maybe was your mama's dream for you or your dad's dream for you or your grandma's dream. You can't live through someone else and someone else can't live through you. If your parents are saying, You've got, to, you've got to be a lawyer because everyone else in your family was a lawyer or you've got to be a business person and you're an artist. That is not your dream. That is their dream. There are generations waiting for you to achieve the purpose of God in your life. So for your, for your visions and dreams, it says old men, young, young men shall have visions, old men shall dream dreams. For your, for your vision to come, to become dream, for your visions and dreams to become purpose, They've got to be codified. You've got to write them down. You, Even if you just have a vague idea and it doesn't turn out the way you expect it to be, at least it's codified. And it may not turn out the way you've expected to, it to be, but the spirit of it is still the same. So... Um, and there, okay, the thing about Moana too, everyone in her village was afraid to step out of the land. 
but but she although she tried to fit in although she tried to stay where she was there was something inside Moana that wanted more and I'm I'm talking to someone today that has been told to fit in that has been told because of who they are they can only go here or because they have a disability they could only do this or because they have a disability they can't make their own they can't start their own business or own company or people with disabilities never do that or you can't go here because this um i'm i'm here to tell you that you are a trailblazer the the reason you never fit in with anyone the reason that your mind is going while people's minds are are happy staying uh where they are is because you were made to be a trendsetter trailblazer you were made to do things that people don't do and stop being afraid of who you are stop being afraid to um step out of the boat and do what god has called you to do and there are those people on the other side that step out just haphazardly and do things that god didn't tell them to do and they just um they just end up in a mess and end up in debt and what i have to say to those people is slow down slow down ask really seek the lord before you go into anything um s- slow down don't run before you you walk don't walk before you crawl because the pacing of god i talked a few months ago on youtube about the pacing of god i said um it's important to go with the pacing of god sometimes he will tell you to slow down sometimes he will tell you to speed up sometimes he will tell you you're going at the right pace just keep on going sometimes he will tell you uh to give up i have something better for you sometimes he'll tell you to keep on trucking it's very important in this season of quarantine that you get quiet that you get still so you can hear god everybody's pacing is different and you can't go at my pace and i can't go at your pace we have to go at the god ordained pace for our lives so some of us he's calling uh to move to plan to strategize and some of us he's calling to slow down step back regroup it's not over but you just have to slow down step back and regroup and some of us he's telling to to get off the couch get off netflix and and start strategizing start planning because for those people if you don't plan if you don't strategize in this time of rest and quarantine when the glory comes you won't have the tools to handle it and for the people he's telling to slow down and rest if you don't rest if you don't take stock and regroup when it comes you'll be so out of 
energy because you would have expended that energy too much when it told you to slow down that you won't be able to keep up when you need to keep up so pacing in this time of quarantine is very important ask the lord do you want me to strategize or do you want me to slow down do you want me to rest and regroup or do you want me to uh plan so that when i get out of quarantine i know what you want me to do i hear you um and i follow you um we need to get our spiritual senses sharpened that's the only way we'll know god's pace, pacing for our lives we need to have our spiritual ears open have our spiritual eyes open be speaking the word of god be speaking what he has told us uh we need to um get our um get our spiritual legs moving if that's what he's telling us we need to stop if that's what he's telling us we just need to really listen to god in this season what is he telling you to focus on okay guys I will see I will see you later this week, either tomorrow or Thursday, maybe both. I'm not sure, but the Lord is totally speaking some wonderful things this week. And I just am so thankful for him. Have a good day. Bye. You are not too old or too young to do what God has called you to do. If you're 16 and you're just lying in the house and after you finish school work, you don't know what to do, um, ask the Lord what he would have you do. And if you're about 60 and a grandma and you think, and you think that dream of sewing dresses for girls or making pants for guys is over, it's not. That dream is still alive. It was deferred, but it's not over. So whatever age you are, you can still achieve the purpose of God for your life. You don't have to be of any age or any stage. He's given you the tools you need to do that. We bless you, God, and we love you. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turned his face toward you and gave you peace. Amen. 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 And I Bye.